And, and we want to be reminded as, as ministers of all the body of Christ, you see, all of us in the body of Christ are the ministers of reconciliation. All of us. And, we, and if we are going to stand in this grace of God, we have not received this grace of God in vain. But we want to be reminded that we ought to live dead to sin. You see, and Romans chapter 6 reveals this to us. And Paul reminds the Romans. He says in verse 1, starting in verse 1, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? And know you not that so many of us that were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death. That like as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we should also walk in the newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall also be in the likeness of his resurrection. You see, Paul's saying, listen, the grace of God, if, if we are standing in the grace of God, is what Paul's saying. Peter reminds us of the true grace of God is standing against the enemy. It's resisting his temptations. It's, it's being grounded in the word of God, established with the word of God, the word of God coming out of our heart and out of our mouth. And you see, we're, we're walking in this newness of life is what Paul is, is teaching us here now. You see, and he says, listen, we're buried by baptism. The day we got water baptized was the beginning. The day when we said, Christ, come into my heart, make me a new creation. It was the beginning of this newness of life. And Jesus said, those who hear and believe and are baptized shall be saved. And we are baptized into his death. And like as Christ was, was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we also are now walking in this newness of life. For we have been planted together in the likeness of Jesus' death. And also in the likeness of his resurrection. You see, if we really are walking in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, then we're walking in the resurrection power of Jesus Christ, where Jesus said, greater works will you do in my name. Greater works will you do in my name, for I go to the Father. You see, Paul is saying, if we've been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall also be in the likeness of his resurrection, knowing this, verse 6, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed that we henceforth should not serve sin, but that he that is dead is freed from sin. You see, we're going to be free from sin because we stand against the devil. We continually stand. We know the devil has his time, and he's looking for another opportune season, and he's planning his next attack. He's looking for that next opening. He's looking for that wandering eye. He's looking for that person who stays out of the word of God. He's looking for the person who's more mindful of the things of men. He's looking for the people who are, or, or the cares of this world are coming in. He's looking for the people who lust of other things, who desire other things are entering in to choke it out. He's looking for the people who, who have their eyes and their affections on the pleasures of this life. They would, they would rather engage of the things of this world. They would rather spend their time in, in sports and activities and, and doing more of those things than the things of God. You see, He's looking for people who are mindful of the things of men and not the things which are of God. And Paul's saying, throw off the old man. Walk in the new man. Be dead in Christ. Nevertheless, we live, not us, but Christ that lives in us and the life we now live. We live by the faith of the Son of God. And Peter's saying, recognize that what I'm saying here is the devil's going to come back at another opportune time as he, as he left Jesus. And he's going to come and he's going to bring another temptation. He's going to look for some other avenue he can work his way into your life. Be sober-minded. Be vigilant. For your adversary, the devil, he's walking to and fro across this earth, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him steadfast in the faith, knowing these same afflictions are attempted in your brethren in the world. And some have, have coveted after the devil's Lies, they've covered it and they've erred from the faith. You see, but Peter, but Paul says in verse 7 in Romans 8 7, he says, uh, he's or verse.